I was being kidnapped this morning by the Swedish Mafia and that got me thinking that Mr. Murray has given us the ultimate God tier glitch. It's so overpowered, he's even baked it directly into the game's menu and it can be cheesed to our total and unbridled advantage. So let's get into today's video. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is have a look at our units and nanites. Now, as you can see, I'm fairly rich in the game. That's no secret. I've always had at least 500 million on me at any one point. But if we go into our options menu and we're going to difficulty settings here, you can see now we have the option to do just about anything. But look at what options that we do have. Crafting and purchasing can now be made free which we're going to use to our full, full advantage. And trust me, this tool right here is so overpowered, it is stupid. Now, you can change the difficulty settings to your leisure, and you can change them back at any time, which is absolutely insane. But what this allows us to do, so for example, I can pick anything, and as you can see there, I didn't even have enough to build that item. But we can put absolutely anything down and we can put it down for free. If we put down an item, we can put it down for free. If we can put down something that we can build with, again, we can put it down for free. But we can also claim it back and we'll actually get the items back once we delete it, which is very interesting. So, for example, we could do it with refiners. Now, if we can do it with refiners, we can also do it with portable refiners. I hope you can see where I'm going with this. So for example, if we place down a normal portable refiner, we'll go into it, and we're gonna put in an item that we wish to duplicate. Now, because we can now get these portable refiners completely for free, for example, we can literally now do this, where we can just spam portable refiners inside of each other with actual no cost to ourselves, thus, it means that we are getting unlimited amounts of these and we can duplicate unlimited amounts as well. But that's not the best thing about this glitch. More is coming later on, so make sure you watch to the end of the video because I'm going to show you how you can do this and get billions super easy and super quickly by using this method as well. But what we're going to be doing just straight away is we are just going to be deleting everything and as you can see with the extended menu or the extended uh, item uh, slots that we can have now in our exosuit, it means we can fit a lot more stuff in there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fuel up this trade rocket here and what's going to happen is this rocket is going to come down from space and it's going to land. Now this is going to allow us to basically trade everything on the fly. So you go to this menu here, go to summon trade rocket. Now this rocket will come down. Once it lands, anything and everything that you have just gone ahead and duplicated, you can literally land this rocket right next to you and you can just send it away with all the items that you've just literally duplicated and it gives you the very best prices as well so it's not like taking a cut or anything so look at all of this stuff that i've gone ahead and duplicated in my cargo and we can just press for me it's x on keyboard i don't know where it is on console um if you're on xbox or, or playstation but for me i'm just pressing x and it just instantly moves everything across so if I go ahead, now you can see I'm making 5 million just straight away just by doing this. Now, it's it's not the quickest way to do it, but there is a better way. And I'm going to show you that just now. But I'm just trying to give you the idea that you can do this with anything. And because it's so quick and easy to do, it then gives me another idea. And for that, we need to go up to the space station. Alright, so we're at the space station. I've got a random ship with me. It's a C-Class. It's worth maybe two and a half million. It's not worth much of anything. However, because now everything can be bought and upgraded for free, we've got to upgrade ship and now we can apply augmentations. And now look at that. We can now completely kit out this ship with slots completely for free i don't even have any augmentations on my guy at the minute this is all completely for free so as you can see now it's worth 16 million so we're going to do it again but this time we're going to make sure that we can't apply any more augmentations and we're also going to increase its class so now we're going to go all the way from b class 
Sorry, no, it was a, it was a C class. We just bought a B class, and we're gonna do it all the way up to S class. I'm not gonna cut any of this out, so you can see me do it real time, so you can follow along at home as well. So we're gonna take this up to an S class, and now my whole theory behind this, if this is correct, we could get a ship here with easily over the 200 plus million mark and again this is completely for free which is absolutely ridiculous now as you can see i've done the max class and we can apply a lot more augmentations as well and we can really really upgrade the sink now with how much they have extended everything with how much you can upgrade as you can see it actually goes off the bottom of the line here i actually thought that this was a was a mistake because the the, I couldn't actually even see the actual like bar going across anymore, so I don't know what was going on. But it was still giving me inventory slots. So it kicked me out at this point. I thought, okay, fantastic. That must be the end of it. And there we go. I mean, we're at 234.5 million in units. Now, why do we really need a ship like that for? What we're going to do is very simple. We're going to go ahead and go to Claim Scrap Worth. Once we do that, we will get something called an AI valve. So we have a look in our exosuit. As you can see, the value hasn't actually gone onto our credits. It's actually giving us the item back in uh, the value back in items, should I say. Now, when we have a look, you can see it's giving us storage augmentations. But if you look at the far left, that's what we are wanting. We are wanting these Starship AI valves. So now we go back to the planet and do what we did at the beginning of the video. So again, you're going to get down a port where we find it. We're going to look for those Starship AI valves that we have just gotten. And then we are just going to place these down repeatedly. Now, as we are doing that, if you are on a Sentinel planet, you can also go back into your options menu and turn off, for example, Sentinel's killing you damages that kind of thing so all we need to do is go to difficult settings and we need to turn off the damage levels we need to turn off hey uh, we've got a bit further down there's a lot more menu however do be one when you do this there is a high probability especially on pc that if you do this during a fight it will essentially make your ears bleed and you might want to turn it down just about now Yeah, that's the sound. Oh my god, that is loud. So all you need to do is keep on spamming everything. The drones can't get you. However, you will need to turn down your sound. So I do apologize about this. Now, the only way to get rid of this sound is by killing the sentinels. There is nothing much more you can do other than that. So I am trying to speak over this. I've actually even turned it down just a little bit. There we go. So the sound does appear and if you kill the sentinels, the sound doesn't come back. Oh my God. So I am trying to get this rocket summoned very quickly. So whilst that, that rocket summoning, I'm just going to go ahead and kill the sentinels off before my ears decide to prolapse. Yep, yeah, there we go. Hopefully that should be the end of them now. Yep, there we go. So, like I said, kill the sentinels. And like I said, the sound does eventually go away. Fantastic. So, once your trade rocket is down and landed, it's very easy. All we need to do now is load up some Starship AI valves. However, a word of warning is if you load up too many because they are worth so much, you'll actually see a minus number, so you'll actually get, you won't actually get any money. So... What you need to do is you need to load them up a few at a time. So I like to just go ahead and load up just 100 of them, which is two rows out of your exosuit. That'll give you one point, just shy of 1.2 billion. And then all you need to do is then just launch them off and basically get super, super rich. So there we go. This one is the last rocket just landing here. And I'm already at like three point something billion. It's taking me literally less than 30 seconds of my time being on the planet and just launching these rockets up it's been really even fun like just to watch them go up as well but yeah i'm at 4.294 billion which is virtually a unit cap anyway so it's i like how they've upgraded the the exosuit and the starship like inventories but they haven't 
increase the unit cap, which I find that quite weird. But there we go. That's everything. All done. I'm now a billionaire once again. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this ultimate cheese in the video description down below. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.